hey, it's me again. Um, so I found a couple more potentiometers on um, a set of speakers I tore apart. The circuit board had a couple nice knobs. And so I was able to get more of the axes of movement on this arm working. Isn't that cool? And so it's got a twisty wrist, and then the wrist can tilt up and down. What I don't have hooked up is the main base to turn the whole arm, and I don't have the, uh, the pinchers hooked up yet, so they're just hanging. But all the other four I got working at the same time. If I could do this without breaking it apart, it's just plastic. I printed it with PLA on my um, little mini 3D printer. So, anyways, I just had to show off a little. Let's see. Oops, if I could do that at the same time as that, that might be neat. Rotate. Anyways, isn't that cool? Hopefully in the future here, I'll have this thing working a little better. Um, maybe even, well, I don't know yet. There's more than one way to control it. Right now I'm just doing it with these knobs so I can kind of troubleshoot any other problem areas because I know a lot of the hardware I used here, right? I don't even have the proper hardware. Yeah, there's already stuff falling apart again here. And I'm not even using the pinchers. I gotta get some lock washers. Anyways, that's it. I just wanted to show it. And there it is. It's Trisha's new robotic arm. Woo. There it is. Say goodbye, robot arm. It's waving. <laughs> okay, bye.